What's up YouTube, TCM here back with another video and today I wanted to talk about something near and dear to me which is mental health. And more importantly, knowing when to quit or knowing when to just take a break. And I think that is very difficult for a lot of us, especially us working in cybersecurity where we feel like, hey, there's so much information out there and there's so many different things to do that I'm never going to learn enough or I'm never going to do enough to keep up with everybody else. And it doesn't matter how high speed, high energy, fast moving you are, you are capable of burning out. And I really, really want to talk about that today. I want to talk about some of my experiences and what I went through and some of the things that I've changed along my way that have helped me out and maybe will help you as well. So no ad today. I do want to share one thing with you, though. Now, I'll link this in the description, but we are doing a live stream and it's showing off a giveaway, which there will be a giveaway. But more importantly, what I want to show you is we're doing a live stream with a wonderful gentleman named Don Donzel. If you're not familiar with him, he used to be the director of community over at eLearn Security and eventually INE. And he decided to just take a break and take, I think, a couple of years off of work. Uh, which he calls a sabbatical, but it's more to uh, mental health and to become better, a better oneself. And I realize not everybody has this opportunity, but I think that this is a fantastic talk to listen to. He gave this talk at HackspaceCon. We're going to be talking, him and I, about mental health. And yes, there are going to be some awesome prizes if you do stick with it. It's a one hour stream. We're doing a giveaway. Here's some of the prizes. You want to register all that fun stuff. We also have a really, really, really special announcement that is going to happen at the end of this stream. So if you want to see some exciting news, and I mean, it's exciting. We're actually like putting out press releases for this announcement. So uh, just might want to stay tuned for this one. I don't say that that much. But again, I'll link this in the description below. If you're interested in mental health, just want to see what advice is out there for people like you and see other people that go through these struggles as well, please do come check out this stream. But with that, let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that I've experienced recently. Okay, so I am a bit of a workhorse. I don't think there's any denying that. I will work hours upon hours without stopping. And that's just been my mentality and my way of thinking as long as I can remember. And people ask me, hey, when when do you sleep? And I always joke around and say when I'm dead. But it's really not that funny because that mentality can get you into a lot of trouble. And I think in the cybersecurity fields and a lot of other high energy, high paced fields, we get into this mentality of I need to know everything. I want to know everything. And I don't have enough time in the day to learn everything. But I've got all this studying that I need to do. Maybe I've got a job and I'm trying to transition to a different field and I'm studying for that field, but there's just never enough time in the day. And that's very, very true. And what it comes down to is how do we balance all that time and how do we take care of ourselves in the process? Because it's very easy to let go of ourselves when we're thinking about, hey, I want to better myself or my career or my future, but we don't actually better ourselves as a person or as an individual or our body or any of those things. So for me, this dates back probably four plus years ago. When I first started TCM Security, I was in the best shape of my life, mostly thanks to Uncle Sam, aka the United States Army, because, hey, I had to be in shape to be in the military. And I just took that for granted a little bit. If you watch the progression on my channel, you saw me start out very skinny and over the course of the years, get bigger and bigger. And it's no secret that, hey, I had a lot of issues with my weight. Well, a lot of that that was going on behind the scenes that I don't really talk about was that I wasn't really focusing on myself. I was focusing on everything else. I wanted to be the absolute best in the business. I wanted to be the best hacker. I wanted to have the best company. I wanted to do as many things as I could all at once. And me as an individual, I work better under pressure. I work better with my back against the wall. I like a, a tight deadline. And if you give me those things, I thrive. That's just my personality and my, my type. But when it came to focusing on myself, I put myself on the back burner. 
I said, I'm going to go do all these things. But for me, my personal health and everything else wasn't going to be one of those. And that eventually takes a toll on you in several ways. First of all, I gained a bunch of weight. I was not very healthy. I was staying up and working all weird hours. I still do that, which takes a toll on everything else because, hey, if you're losing on sleep, you get irritable. Uh, it's not good for you or your body, and it's just not good overall for your mental health. If you're juggling a bunch of things at once, especially if you're a person like me, I'm a person who has a very hard time saying no to things. So I'll say yes, I'll squeeze it in, don't worry about it. And then 10 things just happen to come together at the same time. And I'm pulling my hair out because nothing is going the way that I wanted. And that hurts as well. So over committing, overworking, and just burning out without realizing it. And that's what it comes down to this concept of it's okay to pull back. It's okay to take a break. Uh, me as a business owner, one of the things that I struggle with the most is, hey, I want to do a little bit of everything. I want to be involved in the process and delegating especially was a very hard task for me early on because to me, it's like, hey, I can do this task in 15 minutes. If I teach somebody else for a long time, they may do it for an hour because I've been doing this forever. So I perfected it, but it might take them an hour. So instead of them taking an hour to do it every time, well, I can do it in 15 minutes and do four of them in the time it takes them to do one thing. Well, that's the wrong mentality. That's the short term mentality. It's not the long term mentality. And that short term mentality piles up. Hey, I'm not going to delegate X, Y and Z. I'll just take it all on. Well, now I've got 45 minutes of task or whatever it might be. I've got a bunch of tasks that I overcommitted to. And then I've got employees, other people that are wanting to do these things that I'm just not willing to give it up. And so delegation was hard for me. Uh, it's you have your baby, you create this thing and you you want to trust other people with it, but it's hard. And eventually being able to delegate gives you time back in your life. But what really kicked this into gear for me, and I'm not saying I'm the master delegator yet, but I'm. I would say I'm pretty good at it nowadays. But what really kicked it into gear for me and what kind of sparked this story here is beginning of the year, I went in for a random just a hey, health screening and they're like, let's run your blood work. Let's run everything else and just check and see what's going on. At this time, when I went in, I was pushing 245 pounds. Why is that? Because again, in the past four years of starting the business, I focused on everything else and committed to everything else, but I never focused on me. And that is very, very unfortunate. So I go in there, I get my blood panels back. Of course, I've got high cholesterol. I was expecting that. I have high blood pressure, was expecting that. And then also I had some off the chart liver, whatever, liver results. My, my liver numbers were insane. I didn't drink that much occasionally. I wasn't going out there and doing anything crazy. And that was a big scare for me because they were like, hey, uh, are you doing X, Y and Z? And it's like, no, I'm not doing any of the things. I'm just fat. And they're just like, no, no, it's got to be alcohol or something else. And it's, it was back and forth. But eventually what had happened, hey, I had to cut back a little bit on drinking just to appease them by cut back. I mean, just stop drinking, which wasn't very difficult for me. And we tried to work towards getting this level down. And occasionally when we go in every couple months, it would go down a little bit, a little bit more. And it turns out, slow medical system turns out to be a fatty liver. And it's, hey, you need to really take care of yourself because you've got all these now high blood pressure, high cholesterol, fatty liver, all these things that are wanting to kill you. And if you do not take care of yourself, you are going to work yourself to death because, hey, again, I'm working long hours. I'm not sleeping. I'm not really doing anything. I'm not exercising. I'm not even eating horribly, but I am eating, but I'm eating at my desk. I'm not going out and doing anything energetic. So that started a commitment for me to say, hey, I really need to pull back. I need to give myself one hour a day of just me time. And that has helped significantly. Finding that balance in work life has helped significantly. I always spent time with my friends and significant other, everything else. That hasn't ever really been an issue, but an issue has been spending time with myself. Never really did that. So what I started doing was, hey, I'm going to take an hour a day. I'm going to go for a walk. I'll listen to an audio book or I'm going to shoot poops. I like shooting and playing basketball and just changing one little thing at a time. 
I'm going to give an hour to myself a day. And that started working. Hey, it took me a couple months, but I lost 10 pounds. Then I said, okay, well, I'm going to take this and I'm going to add a little bit extra in there for me. I'm going to start taking this more seriously and I'm going to start changing my diet a little bit. I'm not going out there and saying I'm eating entirely clean or I'm doing all the things that you should. No, but I'm limiting myself to a certain amount of calories a day. And now I'm also keeping that hour a day for myself and giving that you wouldn't think it's much, but giving yourself an hour a day is completely game changing. I'm down 35 pounds. I think I'll be under 200 pounds probably in the next month. Really good. Just hit 210 today. Awesome. But on top of that, I am now feeling, hey, more energetic. I'm able to actually be more present at work, be more present in life with other people. I am just able to do more things. And being healthy is one of those things. And having better mental health is another thing. Learning to say no, but more importantly, learning to know when to stop or when to quit. Another story of this that is pretty famous for me is Last year, we were running what was called the PMPT Live. We were doing live streams on Twitch, and I overcommitted immediately. I said, hey, guess what? It's June. We are going to do two live streams a week for the next 25 weeks to give you 50 streams of content. And what did I not think through? Well, in 25 weeks, that's going to put me right into quarter four. Quarter four is the busiest time for a pen tester. It's the busiest time for our business. And oh, yeah, I still pen test. So let me just try to do everything at once. Did not work out. That was the first time in my life that I felt like I truly let everybody else down. And I feel like I've let people down before, of course, but to the scale and the magnitude of what I did to just say, hey, I'm not doing this anymore because I literally cannot do this anymore from a mental health perspective really killed me. But in hindsight, what happened was it made me realize that I could take a step back and everything would be okay. What was more impressive was that everybody, instead of saying, you're an awful person, you stop this, all this other stuff, they said, no, we totally understand. You are important. We will be here when you come back. Take a break, go away. And I had never heard those words before. So for me, that was like the first kind of eye-opening experience to say, you can do this, you can take breaks, you aren't going to let people down when you do it, and hey, things will still be there when you get back. Now, we live in this world of social media, and social media is very hard, and I've said this time and time again, but look, successes get upvoted to the top. Doesn't matter what platform you're on. If you post a success, everybody just goes happy and congratulations, and that gets engagement, and those just float to the top. If you say, hey, today I failed, I was, I wanted to do something, I wanted to run a mile in six minutes, and I ran it in seven minutes. You're not going to get congratulations, blah, blah, blah. You might get a few people who will say, that's okay, you can do it next time, you got this, and those people are awesome. But that is not what scales to the top of the mountain on social media. And because of that, we are so in tune with seeing everybody else's success that we think that everybody else but us is successful. And even as a successful person myself, it's hard to say that I don't want more. I don't think there's ever like, there's never a cutoff for a success. It's like, hey, I've got this, but I could have this. And this person's better than me at XYZ and I wanna be there. And it's the, kind of that mentality of, I want to do everything as good as possible. But I think it's the age that we live in as well, where everything seems like everything's great. But you don't see the failures along the way that get to these places or get these people to these places. But what is really helpful having experienced all this and being successful is, hey, I know that these people are most likely going through this too. The people that are posting their wins and their victories on social media are also deep down inside, probably wishing that they were better or that they were somebody else that they could do something more than they're already doing. And it's kind of poisonous. And it's something that can take over you if you don't just take a step back and realize that not everything on the internet is reality. And no matter how hard you work, if you do not work on yourself first, it's not going to matter in the long run. If you want to be here for the long run, you need to focus on yourself. 
yes, self-education is important and working is important, sure, to an extent. But if you're not taking care of yourself first, you're going to run into a lot of problems in the long run. So what I just want to say, and I'm doing this video kind of off the cuff, but what I want to say to you is, hey, it's okay to take a break. It's okay to quit. You know, I have literally walked out of a job, put my badge on the desk and never looked back before. And that was one of the best feelings of my life. I literally quit a job. Um, I, you know, it's okay to quit. I quit the PMPT. I've quit before. I have given up. It did not make me a worse person to quit. It actually made me better. It did not make me a worse person to take a break and pull back from work. It made me better. So don't think that this mentality of I quit or I you know, I didn't work as hard as I possibly could means that you are a quitter or that you gave up. It does not mean that. Sometimes we need to quit or take a break in order to actually move forward. So take that, think about it, and think about, hey, how can I give myself 30 minutes a day or an hour a day? If you're not already doing it, how can you do that for yourself? Go outside, go for a walk, listen to a book. Hey, go read a book. Go do something that you enjoy. Go sit on the couch and watch TV if that makes you feel a little bit better. Do something that works for you and makes you feel better as a person. Don't dedicate your life to social media or to work or to everything else without first dedicating your life to yourself because that is how you're going to improve the most. That's it. That's all I've got. Hopefully you found this informative. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I will see you again back next week with more content. Please consider coming to the stream. The stream is on Wednesday. I'll put everything in the description below. And until next time, my name is Heath Adams, a.k.a. The Cyber Mentor. Peace out.